It's so dreamy. Ooh, fantasy free me. So you can't see me? No? Not at all? Hello. I'm Jen. I sometimes record videos and am working on an, another project in the future, so I hope that you'll stay tuned till the end. Might get a little awkward because honestly, this is a little awkward for me getting started. Uh, never been a fan of public speaking and this is a challenge for me. So thank you, Aaron Dowdy, for encouraging that as hella awkward as this is. With a bit of a mind flip, you're into the time slip and nothing can ever be the same. I wanted to talk about that the song and the purpose for singing Let It Go and kind of some things that it made me think about after the fact. And this was me taking action um, to follow up something that, a practice that I kind of tried from uh, this great guy uh, that has a YouTube channel, Aaron Dowdy. And so a friend introduced me to his page to his channel about a year ago and back then I wasn't really feeling it but it's funny like as he I feel like he's become more authentic because honestly like it's interesting and I don't feel like well I think I've I felt the resistance he was pushing off before and now it's like okay I hear you because he talks about you know things that he's dealt with and he allows himself to be somewhat vulnerable and uh in another dimension with voyeuristic intention well secluded i see all so the the uh practice that i was talking about where you kind of write down what your old self is and kind of saying goodbye to that that's kind of what the song let it go was representative of and also me making myself do something that didn't look perfect because that did bother me because <laughs> I, I can hit those notes but when you're crying and stuff you know it's not easy but something funny that came to me about action and my uncle Mark's really gonna love this because I realized that for the longest time he was just trying to tell me you know you need to take action and we we kind of speak a different language but it hit me tonight. I'm like, that's exactly what Uncle Mark was trying to get through to me. It's like, I, <laughs> I just, just thought it was hilarious for me to realize that. And I hope he gets a kick out of me saying this here. I, I don't know. Things come back to you. Life is cyclical. It just happens. But uh, so recovering perfectionist and sharing myself crying and having mascara running and right now being a little sweaty because, you know, I it's late at night and here over in North Kakilaki and I am doing my best to fulfill the commitment that I said I was going to do something. <laughs> so um, with the song, it was really important to the past is just the past. Time to test the limits break free and see what I can do. And that's really important for me because, well, COVID uh, came in a time and it was kind of, it has kind of a gift that it offered. You know, it might not have been comfortable, but it forced, forced me and I think everyone in the world is probably having a shared trauma experience still, but it forced me to be more to go inside more and for a while it's like you know the fight flight freeze well I froze and that sucks it's a sucky feeling and I'm just admitting this because I'm just trying to be authentic but I froze and then I started listening to different things lessons started coming back to me something my friend Avery would say or like the 21 day meditations from Dr. Chopra last year and then somehow things coming back to me meditate every day and I don't know see I don't know can't pinpoint in a second that I started watching Aaron's videos again but the way he talks about trauma and mentioning you know he had this diagnosis of ADHD well guess what me too <laughs> and diagnosis of Asperger's so um 
this is me kind of working to reframe that and because he inspired me to do that. So I used to have this belief and I, and I know it's related to childhood traumas and stuff, you know, and some like I've been through PTSD. I've just been through some shit and it just, uh, I won't go into all of it right now, but, um, you know, we are affected by that and it, it isn't, it gets in your body like they're finding with studies and stuff. Now I could probably research it and find it for you, but not right this moment. Uh, so an intention of coming out to the world, out to the universe, how may I serve? How may I serve? So this started back in 2018 when I started listening to Wayne Dyer and, um, rest in peace. Honestly, he's, He's like an ascended master to me just because of the profound effect he had on my life with his words. Because I'll tell you, I've listened to his lectures sometimes, like some of them maybe a hundred times. Because I had severe insomnia and like with the PTSD and some other things happening in life. But he was comforting and hearing him say um, something about... I can't remember who, maybe he was quoting Tagore, do not go back to sleep. The early morning, the silence holds answers, do not go back to sleep. And so I started like, okay, I listened to this and it helped. Uh, how may I serve? So Wayne Dyer and then Deepak Chopra, because Wayne started talking about Deepak, his friend Deepak, and he'd call and that the way he talked about him, like that made me feel more trusting and, you know, I kind of did a little research on Dr. Chopra because research girl uh, here, woman, research woman. Anyhow, um, that was that. And then I have an intention to encourage others to step back, to let themselves ask questions, get curious about why they feel a certain way, like emotions, body, mind, thoughts, and uh, intention to add value. If I could tell the world just one thing, it would be we're all okay. And not to worry, cause worry is wasteful and useless in times like these. And you know what? I won't be made useless. I won't be idle with despair, no. I won't be made useless. I won't be idle with despair. My hands are small, I know, but they're not yours, they are my own, and they're not yours, they are my own, and I am never broken.